So in Mississippi, the Republican Senate race gone to a runoff. Tuesday's the day. What are we expecting between uh, incumbent Senator Thad Cochran uh, and uh, his challenger, Chris McDaniel? Well, McDaniel certainly has the upper hand going into a runoff. Uh, he was leading Cochran in the final uh, day of the, the election and, and seems to have the momentum. Cochran, though, has been raising a lot of money over the past couple of weeks, gearing up towards this runoff. Uh, but McDaniel uh, has, too. He's having Rick Santorum campaign in the state forum this week. Um, and some other high-name high uh, profile people in the state. So uh, we've seen with the, the recent uh, elections in Virginia and, and elsewhere, uh, this will be an interesting test again. So if uh, there wasn't this 50% rule in the primary a couple of weeks ago, McDaniel would have won by a few thousand votes, mm -hmm. basically. And instead, he didn't make it to 50%, and now we're at the runoff. What do you think that is a, is that a predictor of what's going to happen on Tuesday, or do we think that uh, turnout's going to be lower because it's, uh, it's a runoff? Right. Turnout figures to be lower because it is a runoff. Uh, it's also in the middle of June. People have already gone to, went to, the, had gone to the ballots three weeks prior uh, to, to cast their votes. Um, and, you know, this is also, there will be a lot of attention on this race because Cochran could be the next incumbent knocked out. We saw that with uh, Eric Hanner surprise election uh, last week. So uh, there's definitely a lot of eyes watching, but whether voters will turn out again, you know, three weeks after uh, they already had is, is a big question. And with Cochran basically sort of losing, although he did force the runoff, I mean, it seems like the Cantor news, Eric Cantor's mm -hmm. uh, loss uh, a couple weeks ago, is really sort of taken uh, the attention off the Mississippi race. Is there going to be any kind of sort of uh, uh, earthquake? if McDaniel does pull this out on Tuesday? I don't think it will be unexpected. Uh, you know, again, he has had the momentum. Um, Cochran is, is pretty vulnerable at this point. Uh, what's interesting, I think, about this race, if we're looking at it through the lens of the Virginia race, is, is the, the question of uh, incumbency, but also kind of your clout and, and time spent in Washington. This is something that Cochran has campaigned on for the last several months, his uh, you know seats on appropriations and other committees. Uh, McDaniel has campaigned as an outsider ready to shake things up. So I think that's kind of how we're viewing this race again. Um, well, well, we'll watch on Tuesday very closely. Thanks uh, for joining us. Caitlin Huey Burns from Real Clear Politics. I'm Steve Chigaris from CBSNews.com. Thanks for watching.